Hey folks, what's going on? Good morning from Dhaka, Bangladesh. How are you all doing? So today I want to review or rather initial impression on bond number nine, my very first bond number nine fragrance that I bought for my collection. And uh, I previously reviewed, I think, a couple other or one more I bought, but I did not check. I did Blicker Street, that one I remember, but I tested only a few bond number nines, okay? I don't have really good experience with this house, so I'm gonna review just this one and I'll let you know how it feels uh, in my world, right? So this is bond number nine, the scent of peace for him. Okay, there's one for her. And this is very, very popular fragrance on Fragcom. Okay, uh, if you go to Fragrantica, many people will have positive things. The voting bar, love bar is very, very high. The reason being, I recently purchased quite a few fragrances and I, I'll tell you before I start the review, why did I purchase it? This is, people say, similar to Aventus. Okay, that's one thing. And I do enjoy Aventus and Aventus-like fragrances. I have been a big fan of Creed's Aventus, but I have a few other Creed's that I love over this, but this is nonetheless one of my most complimented fragrances. I enjoyed it thoroughly in my journey. So Aventus uh, inspired a lot of other fragrances. Aventus is about one decade old or more, 2009 I forgot when it came out exactly, but uh, Aventus won the heart of a lot of people, celebrities, you know, uh, fragrances all over the world, they wear this perfume. And when other companies saw it, they wanted to cash in. <laughs> you guys know this. This is the most cloned fragrances or uh, copied fragrances in the fragrance history, uh, at, at least as far as I know. So uh, I went through almost all of them. You know, when I did my reviews, uh, you saw me buying Mont Blanc Explorer, the cheapest of them, Jaguar, you know, like for men, Evolution. Um, like, I don't even remember. I cannot even list them down. Rasas' Zebra comes to mind. Cedrat Boss is similar. Um, I did recent times, a lot of these fragrances, right? And CD name not to mention. So recently I also bought Pineapple Vintage Intense, you saw my review. And this is realistic pineapple juice. I told you this is so fruity, so beast mode Aventus that you don't need Aventus new formulation. This is what you need. So question is, why did I buy another Aventus inspired fragrance? Is it because it's better than Pineapple Vintage? Uh, we will see. So here you go, start the presentation. And I'll let you know my thoughts, if it's actually Aventus clone or it's a good fragrance on its own. Very big box, I really like, and it comes with a sleeve outside. It's a sort of like, a, you have to be very careful, and it's sort of like a plastic sleeve outside, so you roll it out, like you slide it out, okay? I have to be very careful while uh, I do this. This has been reviewed by many reviewers, so yeah. They have all of the same presentation with different coloration and different design, but they will have the standard, I think as far as I know, boxes, which is very nice. And, uh, let me hold up. I think I made a mess. Yeah. yeah okay. Now it's better. Yeah. So uh, you see, the design is nice. I really like it. These fragrances they have different bottle sizes. I think 50 and 100. And these are not the most expensive niche house in Bangladesh. I tried it a few days back. So one of the outlets, I smelled it. I really liked it. But when I saw the price tag, I'm like, no. <laughs> they were selling it for more than double the price. So anyway, I recently bought it from Perfume Bangladesh. Uh, the owner. He said, uh, brother, I think, you know, you should take this. This is a nice fragrance and uh, this is a good niche perfume. And I'm like, okay, I'll take it. And I asked him, yeah, so this is uh, where I got it from. Uh, this is a 100 ml bottle and uh, inside. And there you go. The bottle stays inside like that. They have some more item. One more item inside. Let me show you. When you open it like this, I'm taking my time. Please uh, bear with me, okay? So I want to show you the full, uh, what do you call, product. So they give you this postcard inside, okay? And then they have the history of bond number nine. They have some story, I'm not gonna tell, like read. But they have every single uh, fragrance. I think some, this is, <clears throat> what do you call? Uh, something to do with like New York or some other roads, you know, like road numbers and stuff. And they have quite a few fragrances. They're popular. Here's the bottle. Really enjoy this bottle. I love this bottle. They have this nice bow tie, which you can understand looks very nice. Beautiful blue bottle. I don't know why these bottles, they remind me of uh, sort of like Monopoly. I don't know why. And that's the cap. So I think I heard of uh, New Harlem. I heard of, uh, what's the other one? Bond number nine. Uh, there's a celebrity, you know, like uh, forgot the, his name. I like quite a few, but many of them, they are like, okay, you know, just average. So not all of them are 10 out of 10. So here you go, the sticker behind, I mean, below. So you can see the juice from back. Okay, it's not totally opaque. I really like this bottle. And when you open it, it's not really snug fit. It does not click onto place for me anyway. Like uh, the bottle is, sorry. When you 
close it, it's it's not really secure. That's what I'm trying to say. And this bow tie comes off like that. It, it's kind of difficult to spray. It's on the way, so I'll remove it. Nice one though. Cap is heavy. Cap is very, very heavy. Really nice weight to the cap. I think it's glass or what, I don't know. Let's spray this and talk about it. I really, really, really enjoy this. Sprayer is very good. Check this out. Okay. Not really that good. It's good. Okay. That's better. So, the Aventus similarity. Uh, is this a clone of Aventus? No. <laughs> First thing is it's similar to Aventus, but it's very pleasant and different enough on its own way. The own main connection people make with this is that pineapple. And this does have a beautiful pineapple note, but I detect a lot more than pineapple in this. It's a little bit high-end designer. It's like, you know, uh, when you talk about Rojada Elysium, if you like that, this is a same uh, high-end designer like niche perfume. And it does have the juniper berry, very, very fresh and very uh, like sharp. So the opening is that juniper berries. I get black currant. I add that note of from my personal nose, and then that pineapple. The opening is like a opening is built to love. When you spray it, moment you spray this, I sprayed it for the first time in that shop. I was like, wow. Well, you know that was the best perfume I sniffed that day. But the dry down, I was not quite sure. I should have tried it on my skin. So I bought this to buy it i'm like and i saw the reviews in fragrantic i saw people how many people like it so my dear brother motin durani bhai you know in our community he loves it many people love it so i'm like many people love it means cannot go wrong let's just get it so despite having aventus many pineapple based fragrance uh, a lot of other clones i went for this and trust me no regrets uh, first of all let's talk about performance that's what i do performance is good many people say they got beast i don't know about beast but i get quite decent longevity from this so performance is somewhere like 8.5 out of 10 okay so it's a solid performer but not 10 out of 10 pineapple vintage intense if you compare this with this this one lasts like 10 out of 10 okay this is a performance beast so this is very solid if you stay in the air condition zone you'll get 8.5 out of 10 sort of strong performance uh, projection for one and a half hour very good projection after that you have to do a little bit like to go near your skin to smell it and you get nose blind a little bit after that but people detect it so performance is good so the smell i was telling you about the opening million dollar opening very fruity little bit uh, designer like but very smooth no alcohol blast it's very sweet it's almost like uh, having a gin and tonic sort of it's not a boozy fragrance but i'm trying to say it's kind of cool so it's a cooling fragrance so the name itself uh, it's a very beautiful name as my dear brother shafi bai said yesterday it's a very beautiful name the scent of peace for him yes we do need peace in the world so uh, this perfume was released I think 2017 or I forgot the year but very very crowd favorite there's nothing challenging about it there's nothing to wonder or oh what is that note I don't like it and there's no such thing it's very easy to love so when you compare it with Aventus you will be disappointed I'll tell you because Aventus is Aventus okay and every single fragrance has its own beauty but this one right here on its own if you watch it like should I be judging this based on Aventus Merit? No. If you watch this on your own, it's a very beautiful fragrance, okay? Uh, if you can score this under $150, I would say it's a good pricing. Uh, if you can get it like partial from someone, under $100, great. Uh, so this to me is a niche perfume, but uh, I would regard this somewhere where I regard Dior Homme Intense, you know, Dolce & Cabana or Prada, you know, like the highest designers, Chanel Ali Romo Extreme. This is just like, those are like say 10, this is like 11. Okay, you see what I mean? So to me, I love it a lot. So this is a great fragrance, very easy to wear, simplistic everyday wear. Okay, it's less daring than Aventus. All right, and the pineapple note is not as juicy, but it's a good candy-like, sweet, fruity opening. After that, it gets cedary, uh, kind of like it. it the designer like uh, dry down, and it's very pleasant too. Uh, it will get you compliments. Uh, I think women can wear it too. It's not super masculine. Uh, but it's a fresh daytime scent with citrus, pineapple, it's a fruit heaven, all right? So this, I think is a good thing. I bought this as the first and I really enjoy this. So definitely give it a try. It's EDP concentration and the bottle is really beautiful. Uh, this and Blicker Street, I perhaps will get Blicker Street too. I like that. Uh, so these two so far are my two champions. So I remember the other one I want to try is Andy Warhol, okay? That one is a plum-based fragrance, super rare, but and then the Oud, New York Oud. So these are some of the ones that I really uh, am interested in. So overall, how much do I rate this? Uh, for versatility, you can wear it in winter, uh, fall mostly. 
uh, so all over all together i'll give this a nine out of ten for what it is okay i enjoy the smell a lot performance is great and it does have little bit of aventus like dna on the dry down okay so that's why they're kind of similar but i would say more or less like 85 percent similar to aventus but not an aventus clone this one has its own unique smell especially the juniper is nice little touch so nine out of ten for bond number nine cent of piece uh for him okay give it a try uh, get a sample go to their boutique and perhaps you like it as much as i do but many other people might feel this is almost like a designer mom blog explorer you don't need this you know that similar people have similar thoughts but solid solid fragrance hopefully you enjoyed the review thanks for watching and i'll just sign out for today bye bye